Stay 16. Life, Hey, good morning. You guys, I feel great again this morning. Let's hope it sticks this time. But yeah, I woke up feeling really good. First of all, I just want to say thank you to everyone that purchased crystal stitch markers and progress keepers. There are still a few left in the shop. If you plan on getting some but missed the shop update, there's still a few left. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone that's purchased one so far. Y'all are the best. So I have some of those to package today so that they can ship out tomorrow, Friday, whenever you're watching this. I actually don't have that busy of a day. My sister's coming over. Um, so I probably won't be recording during the first part of the day, but like more towards the evening, I'll start recording. Um, oh, also Koda got his COVID shot last night, his booster. Um, and he started not feeling good before bed, so I'm expecting him to wake up and not feel good today. It's a good thing he planned it for the day before he was off work. Uh, also, one more day until he moves back to Greensburg, like back to the Greensburg store. Um, if you remember from all the way back, like day like three or four of Vlogmas. <laughs> I really don't remember what day it is at all. Um, but yeah, tomorrow is his last day at this store that he's been at for like two and a half years. And he'll be moving to our town and that's so freaking exciting. I hope they throw like a big party for him or something, a big goodbye party. But yeah, so um, she is on her way over. So I'm going to go ahead and end this. And yeah, I'll catch up with you guys Much later. later. Coda, in fact, does not feel well today. <laughs> And my nephew's here. You want to say hi? You want to say hi? Come here. You say hi? <laughs> what? <laughs> can, can you say hi? I'm mommy. Will you your mommy? Say hi, mommy. I'm <laughs> mommy. We are going to make cookies. You want to make cookies? <laughs> He's looking around for them. You want to make cookies? Yes? No? Maybe? I don't want to try. <laughs> what? <laughs> I think that was a yes. I think he wants to make cookies. <laughs> so yeah, we are going to make chocolate chip cookies. I've got my favorite recipe up here that I will, of course, uh, write out in the description below. The butter is finally softened. Thank God, I hate waiting for butter to soften. But yeah, so we're gonna go make some cookies. Hey, cookies! Yay! There you go. You put it in there. Good job! One more. One more? There you go. One more. How about one more? There you go. One more. Put her there. Good job. One. And two. You make cookies? We need three. Here's one. You pour it in. One. Two. And three. One. Ooh, that was easy, huh? Yeah. Oh, a little more. Two. 
And... Three. Yeah, blast off. Here we go! Birthday cake! Birthday cake? What an eventful day, you guys. There was so much. Y'all know I don't have kids, so like, when Braxton's here, it's mayhem. It is chaos. He's the sweetest, cutest thing, but sometimes he's a little monster. Ugh. We have these, um, we have these cute mugs that are like Christmas inspired and uh, we keep them sorry I was cracking my fingers <laughs> um, we keep them in our entertainment center we've got shelves in our entertainment center and we keep them down there and it's right at his level so if we forget to get his bin of toys out he will go get those like while we're in the kitchen talking and he'll do things with them the last time, what was it that he got? Oh, me and my sister were cooking and he snuck right past us. We had just made coffee. He snuck right past us and got our creamer off of the counter. And he got those little cups, those little mugs off of the entertainment center. And he started filling them with creamer. And they're big. They're really big mugs. Like Ray Dunn, they, those are big mugs. These mugs are bigger. And he came into the kitchen with one of those cups full of creamer. And he said, I got my coffee. Oh my God. I've never been so angry at him. And the reason I was so angry was that it was my pumpkin pie spice creamer. And you can only get it at certain times, like from like, I think it's like September through like the beginning of December and then they stopped carrying it until the next September. And he had just wasted like an entire bottle of that pumpkin pie spice creamer. You hear Penny tip tapping down here. Hi, do you want to go out? Okay, okay, okay. That's probably good anyway because I'm about ready for bed. <laughs> um, but yeah, we made cookies. Um, we sat and chit-chatted for a little while. They were here like all day. That's like a rare occasion. My sister's like very busy. She's doing a lot of things all the time. She's like me, like she never sits down. Um, and now that I'm thinking about it, maybe that's why I can never like kick out knitting projects. And then like they sit on my needles for so long that like I get bored with them you know what I'm saying does is anyone else like that like they have a hard time completing projects because of how long they take and then it's like ugh, everybody's making something else and I'm like I want to make that too <laughs> I have so many whips that are like just sitting on cables that I really just need to frog because I'm not gonna finish them I'm not I'm just bored with them because it's taken so long and now I've seen new things that I want to make or like um, 
I'm like getting into the state of mind where I'm like, I used to see things like The Weekender by Andrea Mowry. And I'm like, I could never knit knit that. Like that was back in the day, you know, back in the day. I just started knitting like three years ago, (laughs) back in the day. Um, Like when I first, everybody was knitting The Weekender, I was like, oh man. I couldn't ever see myself in the weekender. I didn't know how to modify garments at all. I think at that point I had just, the only garment I had knit was um, the diaphanous raglan. I was a tester for the diaphanous raglan by uh, Jesse May. Oh my gosh. They're out there barking. Sometimes they're worse than the damn wind chimes, I tell you what. So back then I was just kind of like, I could never knit a weekender for myself because it because of the way that it looks on the women. It's mostly women that have projects on Ravelry with the weekender. But now I've come a long way, like with my knitting, and I know the things that are possible and I know how to do those things. So like now I'm in a state of mind where I want to revisit things that I was very interested in three years ago, like The Weekender. One of the main problems, like for me personally, um, whenever I knit sweaters for myself, it's a box sweater because that's just like how things are for like guys because there's not a lot of voice shaping that goes into men's clothing. Um, So now that I understand a box shape and I understand how exactly men's clothing is made, I can totally make a weekender for myself. But one of the main issues that I have with the weekender is the collar for one, because it's not a very male friendly collar. And also the sleeves, the sleeves are very fitted. Um, Well, I don't want to say very fitted, but they're more fitted. So you have like this big boxy frame for the body and then you have more slender arms. So, but now I know how to modify that. I know how to make the weekender, but more of like for me and my body. So, and like as far as the color goes, now I know all I need to do is bring that color in more and do some shaping up in here. Or uh, one thing I've been considering is doing a weekender with a hood rather than, you know, trying to figure out this collar situation because it just goes straight across. Like, I think the collar just, it's just like a slot, (laughs) basically, for your head to poke through. I thought about um, casting on, actually, because I like to do a New Year's Eve cast on. Or not New Year's Eve. I like to do a Christmas Eve cast on. Um, so I'm thinking about casting on a weekender, thinking about it, not entirely sure. Cause I have a, I, I don't know where I'm going to be at with my knitting on Christmas Eve. If I'm still going to have like, you know, Christmas gifts that aren't finished yet. So we'll see, or maybe I'll find something else by then. But anyway, so yeah, really long day. Um, oh dang, I forgot to show you guys what Coda got me. He gave me an early Christmas gift because I told him his gifts were rather expensive this year and I was only able to get like three. And I think he got me like seven or eight gifts. So he was like, "Um, do you want to open one of your Christmas gifts? I think you could really use it right now. And I was like, I guess so. Well, then I asked him, you know, I was like, well, how many did you get me? And he told me and I was like, okay, yeah, that's cool because I'm going to feel really weird giving you three gifts and you gave me like eight so the less there is for you to give me on christmas day the better (laughs) um so yeah i'm gonna have to show you guys that tomorrow because oh my gosh it was so thoughtful i love him so much he's (sighs) my coda i love him but yeah it's time for bed um sorry there wasn't much content to watch today but at least there was content Oh, and I wanted to up you guys, up, up you guys, okay. <laughs> I wanted to update you guys that I went the whole day, now it's the train. There's always some kind of background music here. Um, I wanted to update you guys that I did not feel bad at all today. 
So I think I have officially kicked it. Whatever it was, I think it's officially gone. Thank God, because I was getting behind and everything. I'm like, girl, I got things to do, girl. So yeah, I'm going to get off here. I'm going to get the girls inside. Um, finish this last couple drinks of coffee. I hope y'all had a very wonderful December 16th. Um, let me know in the comments what you did. Y'all know I love knowing what you guys got going on. I wonder if I caught that on camera. I swear this light keeps like flickering, but I'm not sure. I hope your December 16th was wonderful. I can't wait to talk to you guys in the morning. So Merry Christmas and I'll see y'all in the morning for some coffee.